Hi everybody, Dennis Foster from Foster's Yacht Services located at Lauderdale Marine Center. Happy New Year 2013. And if you've been following our videos in December and now January on our metallic paint that we're spraying right now on a 68 foot AB Italian boat, we've got some very important points to cover real quick. When you're putting your spray rigs together to do your metallic paint, you have a two and a half gallon, two and a half quart, two and a half quart. You want to have one for your metallic, one spray kit for clear only, and one spray kit for primer. You want to make sure they're individualized. If you use the same guns for primer and metallic and clear, you're going to have a real crappy paint job. So what I want to explain to you here is that a lot of times when people spray metallics, they don't have our newer version here, which is an aerated unit. They just have a regular two-quart pressure pot, and what happens when you spray metallics is the metallics goes down to the bottom and settles and becomes paste. So all you're spraying is clearing a little bit of pigment. And that's why they got to shake up the gun to get it to flow again and have an evenly mixed flow so they can spray it out. What we have here now is our SG2 pink. And if you can see, it has a boat propeller on here. And what this does is this aerator motor constantly goes when you're spraying so you don't have to shake up the pot and keeps an even flow of the mixture of metallic paint when you're spraying. Makes it really nice. Wet film thickness, WFT. Dry film thickness, DFT. When everything dries, it's the thickness and millage of how much paint you put on. But the most important part is we have these Develbus guns. These Develbus guns are the old 797s. They're made in the USA. The new replacements are all made in China today. So go built in America. And what we're going to do now is each gun is separated. We have one for just metallic paint, which goes with the air radio unit. We have one for just clear, which goes with this one, which we don't need an air radio unit because it's just balancing clear with no pigment. In other words, paint with no color. And then you have another pot you'll use, either this one or this one, just for your primer, your high build and your 545. So when you're spraying your metallic, you've got to make sure you spend a couple grand and make sure you've got good rigs, brand new hoses. You don't want to use the same hoses that you sprayed primer with when you're doing paint. And you also want to make sure you have brand new airlines. You don't want to use, you want, you don't want to use the same airlines that you've been using with sanders, DA sanders, that get water and dirt in the line that you've been using for you know months and months. It ensures to get a very, very good paint job. And if you look here, we've done a test panel for the owner. This is our DuPont MS100 and MS1. MS100 is your base coat. Two coats of base at six pounds of pressure, eight inches away. Your MS1 is your high solids clear. And that's done at 14, 15 pounds of pressure and about 18 inches away. And when you do this base coat clear coat system, it really magnifies the metallic and the clear is what makes it pop. What we're going to do is we get everything sprayed here, then we sand it another time with 500 and put our final two coats on in a spray booth for a flawless and dust free product. So when you're doing metallics, very, very important in order to get a quality job is to have the right rigs, the right setups, new hoses, proper gauges and regulators that actually work so you can monitor your pot pressure and your air gun pressure. And that's what you're going to need to get a really good job. So until we get some other stuff painted, we go back to our another video when we got some paint to show you on how this application comes out. Dennis Foster from Foster's Yacht Services, located at Lauderdale Marine Center, signing out.